President, I rise to take note to Minister Watt's response to my question about gambling harm. And frankly, Minister Watt's answers were pathetic, totally pathetic. We have got so much harm from gambling that is being experienced by people in this country. They're, the losses of gambling are the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare estimates that Australians lost approximately $25 billion on legal forms of gambling in 2018-19, the largest per capita losses in the world. We, the Australian Communications and Media Authority said that 11 per cent of Australians gamble online. In my home municipality of Maribyrnong, I know that the average losses per adult are $1,000 a year. And most of the adults I know don't gamble at all. So it means that the gambling losses of the people who can least afford to lose money are massive. There is such huge damage and harm being done to people in Australia today by gambling. My question to Minister Watt went to three very straightforward actions that governments can take to limit the harm of, of gambling. One is to ban gambling advertising. 70 per cent of Australians want to see gambling advertised banned. They want it to be banned everywhere and all the time. Mm -hmm. And yet, in response to my answer about will the government ban gambling advertising, Minister Watt said that we have to make sure that gambling promotions were being presented in a responsible manner. Now, come on, that just does not cut it. We know that the damage that is done by gambling advertising is very similar to the damage that was done by tobacco advertising decades ago. And finally, governments were moved to ban tobacco advertising. We need to have a strong commitment to ban gambling advertising now. The second area that I um, put forward as being necessary to be limiting the harm from gambling was to ban donations from gambling companies because we know the insidious harm and the influence that those gambling donations have. And we have got the stark evidence of the Minister for Communications, the Minister who manages online gambling, accepting almost $20,000 in donations to her own election campaign before the last election. This is outrageous and absolutely shows the influence of the gambling companies on this government. And yet, in response to will the government consider banning donations, the minister went off on some complete deflection, trying to equate the fact that the Greens received donations from somebody who made money out of beating the house at gambling to their receiving of donations from gambling companies. It's like trying to equate getting a donation from a smoker from donations from the tobacco industry. It's a complete irrelevancy and it just shows the lack of focus and the lack of commitment by this government to be reducing the influence of the gambling companies. And we know the insidious influence they have. The third area that I felt that I proposed to the government that we need to have action was to introduce a national gambling regulator, to be regulating the online gambling that is, showing, that is doing so much harm. Because online gambling, it occurs nationally, it occurs internationally. We need to have national regulation to reduce the harm from on online gambling. Instead, what we what got a commitment to was we've got another inquiry. If you don't want to do anything, we're going to look into it. We're going to have another inquiry. You talk to any advocate, anybody who knows about the harm being caused by gambling, we do not need another inquiry. We need a national gambling regulator to regulate gambling in this country. There is a need for action on gambling at all levels of government, at local government, at state government and at federal government. At the state government level, there are state governments right across the country that are taking action, which is why in New South Wales you have got the opportunity, if you live in New South Wales, to be voting for the Greens on Saturday, who have got an election platform yeah. that would really tackle gambling issues, where they want to be phasing out pokey machines, introducing a cashless gambling card, 
introducing a pokey super profit tax and banning political donations from gambling. Mm. These are the sort of measures that need to happen. These are the sort of measures that Greens in state and federal and local government are willing to take action on, and they're the sort of measures that this government really need to take serious.